Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmosso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Reach out to me directly for pricing information about this or any watch you see anywhere on Watchbox platforms. tmosso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Launched in 2016, this is the third generation Vacheron Constantin Overseas Self-Winding. It is the basic three-hand and a date in stainless steel and, in my opinion, the best version of the current generation overseas. Now, don't panic. Don't worry, this one's on the rubber strap. It also comes with the blue leather strap and the full bracelet. I just wanted to record this watch on the strap because I so rarely share it in that form. So take a quick look at the watch. You can see it's 41 millimeters in stainless steel by 11.3 millimeters thick and from lug to lug, 49 millimeters. Throw it on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. You can see it's a good dress watch if you want it to be as it's fairly thin. It will fit underneath the cuff. It's not excessively broad. You can see it's not approaching the edge of my wrist. And you can see that down the barrel, there's plenty of clearance on each side. Uh, the watch is easier to wear on a small wrist with the strap, and whereas I wouldn't wear it on a wrist smaller than 14 centimeters circumference with the bracelet, on the strap, which has a bit more give and flexibility, I'd say 13 and a half centimeters circumference, your wrist can still wear this watch. It is a handsome piece, and the strap's a good looking one. It has an embossed sort of stagger cut that very closely emulates the jagged edges of the Maltese cross motif that is Vacheron's logo. You can see it in the end of the lugs. You can see it in the bezel, the logo on the dial, and of course on the crown, the slash cut of the crown knurling. And once again, you see that pattern on the strap. Uh, the strap is a nice piece, vulcanized rubber. There's a little bit of evacuation on the bottom to thin it out and make it more flexible. And of course, because this is a third generation overseas, you can see there's a trigger on the bottom. And this is how you swap between the two straps that come with the watch and the bracelet. It's that easy. It's a pull tab system very secure once it's in place. It is literally just a snap to put it in place or remove it. Uh, and over here you can see that the watch includes a full deploying clasp. You get a deploying clasp because with the watch um, you of course get the bracelet. Let me get that sticker out of the way. It's fouling my path. You get the bracelet, and the bracelet has a built-in clasp, but then you also get this deployant clasp, which acts as your, your clasp for the rubber or the leather strap. Now, you can see internally it's media blasted and polished, and again, you have that Maltese cross motif. You have a twin trigger release system, so it's nice and secure. Once again, a Maltese cross on the buckle. I'm just going to take this thing apart entirely so we can see the case back because it's easier to do. Um, taking a look at the movement, it is very special. Caliber 5101, the first time we've had an in-house automatic caliber in the overseas. It beats weight 8 beats per second, it pivots on 37 joules, it's adjusted in a chronometer and high horology standard 5 positions, not 2, not 3, not 4, 5. You'll note that it features ceramic rotor bearings for high efficiency and minimal maintenance, and then the rotor itself is 22 karat gold, not 21, not 18, not tungsten. No compromise, 22 karat gold with four finishes. There's satin finish out on the edge of the rotor. You can see that there is a media blasting under the Vacheron logo. There is a chiseling inboard on the compass rose portion. Then you can see that the uh, thrusting spears of the compass rose, they are all of high polish. There's satination at the center. All of the screws are black polished with chamfered slots and circumference. There is mirrored anglage, as you can see, on the edge of every bridge, and it is done the old fashioned way, mirrored and finished by hand hand, not a straight shot bevel by a machine. This is the rounded mirrored hand laid anglage with rich and luminous abrasive wheel not stamped Cote de Genève across the bridges. Uh, there is engine turning on the base plate and you can see black polish on the cover for the regulator of the watch. It has a 60 hour power reserve which is superior and because of a paramagnetic ring, uh, basically iron, that moves around the... It, the movement effectively is the case spacer. That paramagnetic ring allows the watch to be 25,000 ampere per meter anti-magnetic, which is important because remember, 4,800 ampere per meter is an ISO 764 anti-magnetic watch. This is 25,000. With a screw down crown, it also has 150 meter water resistance, and yes, it does have a quick set for the date. The only feature it does not have is hacking seconds. The dial is lustrous and luminous. It's a translucent blue on top of a black polished metal base, and it looks very much like a certain blue chronometer that's well known in the watch collecting hobby. Very similar aesthetic. White gold hands, white gold indices, fully loomed, white gold logo. You can see there is a Rehaut outboard that acts as a slope down, uniting the bezel with the dial base, and that is a 60 second track 
track. Of course, the watch is minimally adorned with printing and text, which I appreciate. And you can see that the case, just like the Royal Oak or the Nautilus, hand finished and exhaustively so with bevels, satination, sharp breaks between them. Note satination within the recesses of the bezel and then polish on its top once again. You can see that Maltese cross motif. This is an exhaustively handmade watch inside and out. Hand finished movement that is Geneva hallmark. So the standards of the Poinçon de Genève, but today at Vacheron, it goes beyond the movement. As you can see, the stamp on the case as well, it is now a full case attestation of quality. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And we're back with the Vacheron Overseas self-winding, beautiful and blue, even by night.